Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel today. Uh, I'm back doing another diecast review, and uh, today it's going to be Noah Gragson's 2020 Bristol race win, uh, 124 scale. Uh, we'll get on to the diecast in just a moment. I just want to show you all the box. Uh, this is the second Noah Gragson 2020 race win car that I've gotten, uh, and that has been released. Uh, we got the 2020 race winner up there. Um, as well as the rendering of the car down there. I uh, got standard finish down there, as well as the Lionel logo down there. Uh, you got 2020, and then on this other side, you got the 2020 race schedule uh, for the uh, Xfinity Series. And then on the other side, you got the uh, Noah Gragson number nine Plan B sales Bristol win, uh, one of 660. So not too many of these made, um, definitely not you know something like uh like a chase car uh kind of a low number to be honest um i couldn't remember if i got this autographed or not but i guess i didn't uh here's what come in the box you had the noah gragson uh cheddar's 300 winner uh there's all the information on there the one bad thing about this year was that uh we didn't get any like victory lane photos so all of the winter cards look exactly the same um so it, it makes for a i wish they would at least like photoshopped a picture of them on there or something um that they could get and then here's the race winner sticker uh now on to the die cast uh i've been waiting on this one for quite a while um i just love the i love the paint scheme it's just simple um i'm glad paint plan b sales is um sponsoring quite a bit of cars now but um uh, we'll go ahead and get to the details of the of the die cast here you have a ton of rubber built up there on the nose and the grill right down there I really like this light color blue uh, and how it contrasts with the black and white. Uh, I think that's what really sets it uh, sets it apart. They, you got the rubber that goes all the way up. Um, they really did a good job with this rubber um, and they didn't like underdo it or overdo it. Uh, then you got Jason Owen there on the windshield. And then on to the left side, uh, we have, uh, you know, it's just some dirt and grime built up, some knocks here and there. Uh, this was the race that he and, him and uh, Justin Agar got into it. But hey, um, in my opinion, uh, if you're going for the win at Bristol in the regular season, um, in the last 10 laps, I mean, I don't, I don't blame him. You, you got to get what you can get. Um, if that means moving somebody, then, then go ahead and move them. But uh, there you got quite a bit of tire build up there by the B. Uh, some scrapage down here, quite a bit there on the quarter panel, um, as you can see right there. You got the American ethanol fuel uh, thing right there. Uh, you got American flag right there in the exalt the logo, and then you got Noah Grax in there on the name rail. Uh, as we've talked about in the past, the Xfinity diecast quality has really dipped uh, ever since like 2016. So uh, it would have been nice to have gotten a better, uh, better quality diecast of this car, but um, and this is all we can really get right now. You got Plan B cells on the back with the Camaro tail lights, um, and then you got Junior Motorsports there on the deck lid, and then. Uh, the den number, mine was den number uh, 371. So right there around the middle of the pack. Um, now onto the right side, you got uh, some more buildup right there. And then you got some tire marks there on the right rear quarter panel. You can see some tire markings or some of the lettering has been rubbed off. Uh, you got a nice half donut there um, by the tire. It looks like he made good contact with somebody um, on that right rear tire. And then... Um, Again, just some more dirt and ground built up. No winch window on the side, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then, again, just some markets here and there. So it's it's a really solid, simple race wind die cast. You know, nothing crazy. Um, I mean, yeah, we all love uh, die casts that get destroyed, you know. But uh, every now and then, it's good to see one that just uh, it's just a simple paint scheme with a little bit of build up and, and dirt on it. So very great paint scheme uh definitely would recommend picking one up if you can get the autographed edition i would do that but uh it looks like i failed to do that so <laughs> uh but yeah reach up there and hit that subscribe button and like the video if you don't mind i appreciate all the support thank you all for watching y'all have a great day and i'll see you all in the next one